Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be solving some problems on GRO equals. So in question one, we have that a is a positive integer, and quantity a is given as minus 3a plus 15, and quantity b is given as minus 3 multiplying a plus 5. Let's try to open the bracket here. So we have minus 3a minus 15. If you look at this very well, since a is a positive integer, this subtraction here will always be negative because this is negative and this is negative and so this will always be negative, less than zero. However, minus 3a plus 15, if we take a as 1, we we'll have minus 3 plus 15, which is 12. But if a is any number here, it will always be negative and minus 3 minus 15 will minus, will minus 18, it means my quantity a is greater. To further show you that quantity a is greater, let's subtract quantity b from quantity a. So we we'll have minus 3a plus 15 minus minus 3a minus 15. If quantity a is truly greater, we will have a positive number at the end of this subtraction. Let's see. So we we'll have minus 3a plus 15. Minus times minus is plus, plus 3a. Minus times minus is plus, plus 15. And so minus 3a plus 3a is 0. And 15 plus 15 is 30, which is greater than 0. Therefore, quantity a is greater. So in this case, we have a. So moving on to the next problem, quantity a, we are given it as s, and quantity b is 5 foot 2. Since this is a right angle triangle, we are going to use Pythagoras theory. And Pythagoras theory says x squared plus 5 squared will be the square of the hypotenuse side, which is 10. So we we'll have x squared plus 5 squared should give me 10 squared by Pythagoras theory. So 5 squared is 25 and 10 squared is 100. So we subtract 25 from both sides, we have x squared equals 100 minus 25. So that we have x squared will be equal to 75. What, how do we find x? We take the square root of both sides, so we have x will be square root of 75. When we take the square root of both sides, we are meant to have plus or minus square root of 75. But since this is a triangle, we can't have the sign of a triangle to be negative. So x has to be positive. That's how we are restricting it to the positive root of 75. And from so we know that this is 25 multiplied by 3 using so And square root of 25, so this is 25 times square root of 3. We can always split it. So square root of 25 is 5 and this is root 3. But in this case we have 5 root 2. 5 root 3 is greater than 5 root 2. So quantity A is our correct answer here. So the next problem says quantity A is the area of a square with perimeter 36 and quantity B is 3 to the power of 4. The area of a square with perimeter 36. The perimeter of a square with length. You remember that in a square all sides are equal. So if this is L, this is L, this is L, this is L. So the perimeter is the distance around the square. So in this case you have that 4L is equal to 36. So to find what L is, we divide both sides by 4. So we have that L is 9. Now, what is the area of a square? The area of a square is given up L square, the length square. So we have gotten our L as 9, so this will be 9 square, and we can reduce 9 in index form to be 3 to the power 2, raised to the power 2, and this is from the power law, what we have and in the indices raised to the power, we multiply the power. So this is 
3 to the power 2 times 2, 4. And in quantity B, we we'll have 3 to the power 4. It then means that quantity A and quantity B are equal. So our correct option here is C. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.